Welcome to Hook and Reel Fishing. Today, we review the Mystery Tackle Box number 160. Let's cut this bad boy open and see what she's got. Alrighty, right off the top, we have some shad tail spins. Those look pretty exciting. How did bass fish on the cheap? Well, I already know the cheap part. Maybe they'll teach me how to bass fish. Uh, math? We have a square bill. Deep thud. Half ounce. Runs at four feet. It's a fat boy. Let's see if we can catch us a fat boy. Nice little rattle in there. Three pounder. Got some stickers for the cup. Two of the world's sharpest hooks. Three yacht. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. More reading for when I can't catch fish. Something to do. Net bait, four and three quarters, contour worm, green pumpkin magic. Hmm. They are triangular. I've never fished a worm like this before. Looking forward to that one. And we got some curly tails. Carl's amazing baits. Look like they're about in a five inch. Watermelon red. Not a big curly tail fan. We'll see what happens on that. Let's 
So we have a pack of maybe 10 curly tails. About 10 of the contour worms. Two of the world's sharpest hooks. Square bill. And some tail spins. Twenty-five dollar value. Eh, we'll see. Let's get rigged up and spin this hour. Let's start off with the square bill. This thing is the Wobble Master 5000. Look at the action on this thing. Jeez. So, I don't fish a whole lot of diving baits, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just giving a real stop, real stop. Picking up a little bit of grass. Let's try a super slow retrieve. See how that does. I feel like it's kind of like everything else. You just Try everything until you catch a fish and then stick with that for a while until you don't catch fish anymore and then you switch it up. Keep trying different stuff. Start back from the beginning. I would imagine I'm fishing this all wrong since I have no idea what I'm doing here. Getting a strike. Oh, it was a gar. I 
it had a gar on it. Oh, oh, oh the gar striking it again. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Got him. Oh, he got me out of the tree. Oh, he got me out of the tree. <laughs> this is where it gets exciting. Guess I just go in and grab him. Oh, he's so slimy. Oh, don't bite my line, mother. Alrighty. Thank you for getting me out of the tree. Got you some war wounds. We'll name you Scarface. Where'd you get that scar on your face? From eating? Okay, so I have one of the world's sharpest hooks. Or not one of, but world's sharpest hook. Which is not very sharp at all. I'm going to have to pull it like a freaking tow truck set that hook into anything. All right, what are we gonna go with first? Let's try one of these tail spins here.
Oh, got him. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Not bad at all. A pound and a half, maybe. fishing it wrong I just started giving it a steady retrieve and hit so we have the four and three quarters inch contour worm green pumpkin magic Texas rig weightless See how it does. So I don't do any kind of weightless. This is all pretty new to me right here. But I wanna fish it like the box gave it to me. So that's what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Actually, with some twitching, it does have some pretty good action. <laughs> Tell you what, the distance is zero. missed it oh I had a little something on it going to go ahead and unread it expose that hook that was two missed bites Something little right there. Or it could be another gar. Kind of doesn't feel like a gar though. Gars are usually just snap and run. This is nibbling on it quite a bit like a small bass. Okay. Kind of change up the tactics here when you hit it hard like a jerk bait it's got some real good action right, 
couple more. I'm going to have to call this one a fail. Move on to the curly tail. Carl is amazing baits. It does not have the size on it. But Mystery Tackle Box has it covered. Let's just see here. We are looking at about about five and a half fully extended eh, right around the seven inch mark seven and a quarter -ish. let's try to get us one of those 14 inch bass do like the action on this weightless curly tail. And of course, whenever I catch me a tiny little fish, my battery was dead. Of course it was. I didn't land him anyways. He flipped off in the grass. Probably was about six inches long. Didn't really hear him splash. I hope he slid back in. Because that's a potential double digit one day. Little fishing challenge is about to come to a halt because I am running out of time. So far, I believe the count is a foul hook gar on the square bill, a very tiny, tiny baby bass on the curly tail, which the one that my battery died on. A couple of bites on the contour and one fish on the tailspin. So, looks like the tailspin was an all out winner for the day. Alright, last cast. This is it. This is for all the money, right here. What do I do? Do I let it slip fall? Do I get some jerks? Do what I do to make this try to last as long as it can? Should I pull it in fast? Oh! You know what that was? Not looking good. Something was on it. Oh. Uh, I gotta go back. Uh, uh. Something had it. Come on. Come on. Ah, well. That is that. That I ripped part of his face off. Well, 
know. He just shot me the fin. And you too, buddy. All right. Oh, busting water. I, I gotta go in on that. For real, last cast. All right. So what do I think of the mystery tackle box? Overall, not too shabby. I feel like twenty-five dollars. Mm. I don't know if I'd call it a twenty-five dollar value. My personal opinion. Cause I don't know how much that goes for. But if it catches me no fish, then it's not worth the damn thing. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next episode. Stay safe.